Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here and welcome to today's two minute message. So recently I did a little two minute message on atheism and it was one of the most popular ones, mostly because people who hold to atheism got very upset at the fact that I didn't explain it well enough in a two minute video, which even in and of itself is impossible. But here's the thing, whenever I talk to someone who's an atheist, they say, I would believe in God if there was evidence. Now what if I told you that there is ample evidence, but the way people choose to interpret the evidence, that's where the problem comes in. Like people say, I believe in science. Well, the Bible teaches that God created everything. So everything that is created actually points to the existence of God. But if you say, well, creation can't show me that God, because I don't believe in God. Now it's not the evidence fault. It's actually your position and perspective that's the problem. The second way you can know that God is real is the Bible, the prophetic utterances in the Bible. The Bible is a book that was written by over 60 different authors, over 3,000 years, different cultures, but there are the foretelling of future events. What do you do with the prophetic text that says, this is what happened, this is how it goes. God actually says in the scriptures, you'll know that I'm God because I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen before it happened. Even the fact that Jesus came, died on the cross, all of that was prophesied. What do you do with that? And then finally, and maybe most prof profoundly, is simply this. You have to look at when someone believes something, how does it change their life? Like I, would n I couldn't be an atheist now just watching the anger and the, and the vitriol of people who are atheists. Because I'm like, if that's what your position, if that's what it cultivates in your life, then I wouldn't want to be that. When you look at someone who's put their faith and trust in Jesus and they become more loving, more kind, more generous, more patient, all the things that humans should be, to me that says, man, there's some huge evidence that God can transform someone's life. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. I want you to share this video because if you're on Facebook, man, your friends are thinking about this, people care about this, and in the comment section, I want you to be able to write, these are the things that I see the evidence of God in. Now, I only had a couple, like, 120 seconds. I can't even scratch the surface. But, and if you're an atheist, listen, try and be a cordial human being. Because you believe in evidence and science, then try and be a rational, kind person instead of just getting angry in the comments because it's a lot easier to do that than actually have a conversation. God bless you guys today.